What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Osner Show. Today we're looking at the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady 2-pack. So we have Bebop and Rocksteady here in their robot forms. Look just like the characters we've had before, so of course have to do a comparison, but just look awesome with the robotic features and all sorts of accessories that come with them. So these just look awesome. So of course we ordered these back around during the Target Holothon, but we're just now getting around to it. So we've had them for a little while here, but there's pictures on the side, and of course the two of them there on the back with some of their accessories, and of course all the other characters we have there already so it just looks very awesome overall of course nothing really new here we've looked at bebop and rocksteady before but these time they just have the robot looks is the only thing really new about it so let me go and get them out of the box of course i'll have to heat them up and everything and then we'll take a look at them so we have Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady. Both of these look pretty cool. Again, just robotic versions of Bebop and Rocksteady. But overall, they look really cool and pretty similar overall. So they're going to have like similar body designs and stuff. So we'll have to take a look at each one, but they'll probably be very similar overall. But they appeared in Season 3, Episode 27, Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady. Of course, the title name. And in this, we see Shredder and Krang are tired of Bebop and Rocksteady's constant failure. So Krang decides to clone them into robot doppelgangers that are 10 times stronger and smarter than the originals. And through the episode we see them easily defeat the turtles but the turtles end up stealing a schematic disc from the original Bebop and Rocksteady and then use that to override the robots and then use them to fight against Shredder. But pretty fun looking characters overall like I said kind of pointless you don't really have to have these they're just another robot version of a character but I think look really nice here I like the look of them I just think they're kind of a little bit more pointless than having Bebop and Rocksteady themselves. But let's go ahead and just start with looking at Bebop first so he looks pretty nice of course the warthog so he has that warthog face design has the glasses the teeth the little pig ears the pig nose all that sort of stuff and then all sorts of robotic thing it looks almost like guns coming out of his shoulders but he's got the shoulder pads nice red vest on once again very similar to bebop strap around his chest as well and just looks pretty nice just overall even has the red shoes on his feet pretty nice looking version of bebop but we can do his movement so his head there can twist a little side to side can't get all the way around looks like but it can look down it looks like of course the neck as their heads get kind of stiff look down about that far and up that far so not a whole lot of range there of course you have to kind of get worked in there as well but not too bad and then the mouth also opens so you can open the mouth a little bit there to the show the inside of that then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 and rotate around within there we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up about that far there so about 90 degrees and then we get the wrist that twist around and flex back and forth there's sort of an ab crunch in the middle right under the bandolier so right where you see that like dark line there that's where it's supposed to crunch but I don't know if it's just this figure itself or what the deal is it doesn't really rock much at all I can't get it loose in there but it does twist around as well as a twist at the waist so you can see the waist twisting but then we get the hips that can come up under 90 there you can kind of force it up a little bit higher there but just about that far out to the side a little bit thigh twist there right at the top of the like robotic leg piece a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back so not too bad but obviously not that good either but it's a robot so what do you expect and the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so overall not too bad like I said it's a robot so you're not going to get the best movements and should have less movements at least compared to the original versions but overall not a bad figure you don't, don't really have any issues standing it up or anything no real like stiff joints or anything just have some the normal NECA stuff where you loosen them and then they get tightened back up. Pretty nice design overall for the Bebop version. I think he looks pretty cool. And for accessories, he comes with some additional hands. So he has some like open sort of hands here, just like open sort of palm hands since he has two fists already. So we have that as well as a set of like grip hands for like guns and different weapons. So we have a hand with a trigger finger and then just a grip hand as well. So obviously you can switch out those and these will be the exact same for both characters. So it doesn't really matter which one goes where, but overall Super Bebop looks pretty cool as the robotic version that we can now bring in the older version so of course we can see all the comparisons and stuff between the two and how they sort of took the same sort of design and stuff and made it into a robot version so pretty cool overall there for both of them but I do really like the robot version of Super Bebop here and that leads us to Mighty Rocksteady which of course is a robot version of Rocksteady which is the rhino so we can see the rhino design with the ears the tusk a little bit mouth a little beak design stuff there and just overall design looks much like the rhino and I really like the look of him a lot and even similar has the yellow or this sort of like orangish gold whatever kind of color shirt where Rocksteady has the yellow so again carrying out some of the similar designs there and then just has the black feet and leg stuff so nothing real special compared to like Bebop having the red shoes and stuff 
But once again, a pretty nice design and I like how it's not just the exact same thing. It has some similarities between the two, but it's not just the exact same figure. So I like how in this one he has like these tubes and like little guns there up on his shoulders. And then he even has like a little rocket launcher there on his forearm as well. Almost looks like a radio control thing there on his stomach, which is pretty fun. And then uh, it's just the big hunky feet there with the two toes. So pretty similar to like the feet of rhinos. So pretty cool design overall. But for his movement, it's going to be similar overall. But the head can twist all the way around there. And he can look down a little bit and up a little bit. Once again, it's hard with the figures. They were looser, but now you know, up that high and then down that low. So again, not a whole lot of range, but it is there. And then the mouth can open up a little bit there as well. We get the shoulders that can come up about that far. So under 90 degrees, rotate around within there. Bicep twist, double elbow joint that bends up to about 90 once again. And then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Ab crunch right under the chest there. So you can really see his. So his can rock back and forth. So this one is kind of like the head if you like kind of force it back can go back and if you force it forward can go further forward so it's hard to just do in like one smooth move but you can get a little bit of rocking back and forth of course twist around there as well a little bit and then twist at the waist as well then we get the hips that can come up a little bit again under 90 there out to the side thigh twist double knee joint that bends up that far to the back and then we get the foot that flexes back and forth and can twist side to side so like I said, pretty much similar body design just overall, you know, has a lot of the exact same movements, but I really like the look of this once again. I like it. It really brings out like the rhino features of this one just with the smoothness and stuff, especially compared to the original. So here, of course, is our older Rocksteady. I just feel that you don't really notice as much as like, at least for me, like a rhino besides the horn there in the front where I see a rhino much more in the robot version compared to it. But overall, there's just the comparisons there. So you can see the similarities and differences between the two. Pretty nice overall. Like I said, I do like the mighty Rocksteady quite a bit here. And once again, he comes with the exact same hands. So we have the open sword palm hands and then the additional hand grip hands, one with the trigger finger and one with the actual grip there. So again, it's going to be the same between the two. So you can pick and choose whatever you want, depending on what weapons. But both of them look pretty cool here there for the Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady version. Now they come with additional accessories as well. So first off, we have this big machine gun, but again, of course, like a futuristic looking machine gun, but pretty big and bulky there, which looks pretty cool overall. They also come with more of like a pistol. It looks almost like a drill tip on it but I assume it shoots lasers out as well they come with a bomb so it looks like the classic like big round bomb piece but it has a little timer on the front with the red and yellow or green cable sort of going into it so pretty fun little bomb design that's flat so it will sit and then they also come with a parking meter that's been ripped out of the ground so we can see some like the ground with some dirt and stuff so that's pretty fun and then just the stick and then of course the parking meter up top that's all broke and finally we did this little controller device don't really know exactly what this is for but it's got little knobs and stuff you can see dials and everything so another little futuristic device probably that Krang's made for something, but a nice little device there thrown in once again. So again, with all these different weapons and accessories stuff, we can just take different hands and put in whatever we want to give them different weapons. So I may try that now. Well, there I got some weapons in their hands. So for Bebop, I put the parking meter because I thought that was cool. And for Rocksteady, I gave him the bigger gun, the rifle gun. So that overall looks pretty cool for both of them, both the robot versions of Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady. As I mentioned, not necessary figures, especially because, you know, unless you absolutely want them, they don't really fulfill the role of Bebop and Rocksteady. They're just robotic versions of them. So you don't really have to have them, but I think they're pretty cool figures. I do like them a lot. I almost like them more than Bebop and Rocksteady. I just think the bodies overall work a little bit better but since they're robots that you know they're just kind of extra thrown in sort of characters but let me know what your opinions of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review please let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank y'all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review